Our last topic of part eight is analyzing paired data. So anytime we can actually pair up our observations, sort of like we would in a scatter plot, like there's an X and a Y and it makes sense to look at them together. Um, it doesn't make sense to do a regular two sample t test. So this first example, I actually have us work through the wrong way first. So we're looking at um, couples and the wives, uh, the, the, the ages of both the husband and the wife when they were married. And they have here some summary stats. You can see the average age of the husbands was 35.7, while the average age of the wives was 33.8. Um, so if we really wanted to, we could set up a hypothesis test to do this. We could say, okay, well, what we think is that the average age of the husbands is equal to um, the average age for the wives, right? And then our alternative here, we actually do have a direction. We wanna say it exceeds that of the wives. So the average age of the husbands is greater than the average age of the wives. Now, one of the requirements to do a two-sample t-test is that our two samples are independent of one another. Um, and in this case, we don't have that assumption. The husband and the wife are linked, right? They, their ages depend on each other in some way. So this is not the right test to set up. So I'm actually not going to work through this incorrectly like I would normally do in a class. And instead, we're going to go ahead and do this correctly instead. So they are not independent. We've got to do a test for differences instead. So what we should be doing is we should be taking everybody, all these people, and then looking at the difference in their ages. So here the husband was three years older than the wife. Here the wife was seven years older than the husband. One, zero, five. And the advantage of doing this is that now we can see how many years older a husband tends to be than his wife. And that's actually what we want to look at instead. The average difference in the ages, not the difference in the average of the ages, right? And so that switch of words matters a lot, whether we're talking about the average difference or the difference of averages. All right, this is what we did before, and now we're talking about this. What's the average difference in the ages? So we can see as we write up this little thing, almost every example that we have here, the men are older than the woman. The husband was older than the wife. So we can see that there's probably going to be some sort of difference. And there are other ways to do tests about this. Um, one of the tests is to just look at how many more times you see positives and negatives. Um, and that's sort of a non-parametric test. But we don't cover that in this class. So in this class, we just want to know are these differences something that we care about? So the first thing they have us do is calculate the X bar for our differences and the S for our differences. So I guess I would need to type all this stuff into a calculator, which I will begrudgingly do for you because I am just that sweet. So hold on one second and I'll type all that in. So I actually entered the husband and wife data in StatCrunch, and now I'm going to make a new column, hopefully this works, where I take the husband data uh, minus the wife data. I don't know why I put a little... I don't like this. Husband minus wife. I shouldn't be doing this. This is annoying. I don't know. Now I'm upset that I brought you guys back to see this. Um, we'll try this. Okay. Husband minus wife, and we'll label this as differences, and we'll compute. Yes. All right. So I just had StatCrunch do the same thing that we did by hand, subtracting, figuring out all the different differences between the husband and wife pairs. Now, if I want to find out the average difference, I would just go ahead and do some summary stats on that difference column. Um, I'll go ahead and just compute everything and you can see here we have that there were 24 different couples the average for them our X bar is 1.875 and our standard deviation uh, our S is 4.8122 so I'm just gonna bring all that to put on our oh that's so not what I want um, to put on our input here so X bar was 1.875 so the average um, uh, difference that we see between the husband's wife and wife's wife is 1.8 years. And then the S for that, our standard deviation, is 4.8122. So a lot of variation in those values. 
Now that we have those, they want us to go ahead and do a hypothesis test. So here's where we're going to go ahead and say, step one, the step that you guys need to be able to do, our null is that this average difference is equal to zero. Right? So this is very different. So we're not going to say the average of the men versus the average of the women because this is the average of the differences. Like I said, it seems silly, but that change, that flipping of those two words makes a big difference. Our alternative, the average difference is greater than zero, that the men are older than the women, since we did our difference as men minus women. So step two would be to go ahead and get our test statistic, which is still a T, because we don't have the true standard deviation difference between the two. All right, a student came in, so I don't remember what I said last, but we need to get a T. If we wanted to, we could use the actual formula here, our average difference. Notice that there's nothing subtracted here because we're assuming that the real average difference um, is zero, so we don't need to even write that there. It's just going to be this divided by our S. Uh, divided by the square root of n. So technically this would be easy to calculate. This would be 1.875 divided by our s over the square root of n, which was 24. Now, we don't need to do that. We can go straight to StatCrunch and have it do it for us. So in StatCrunch, we could do two different ways to do this. One is we're technically just looking at one sample if we're looking at the differences, right? We just want to say, is the differences, are they zero? Or are they greater than zero? And we could just do a one test, uh, a one sample test for that. So you see here our mean, our standard error now, degree of freedom, and our test statistic is 1.91. Alternatively, I pointed this out last class. I'm going to go ahead and grab my p value while we have this open though. 0 0.0344. StatCrunch is nice and it actually has a nice setting for, um, in the T-Stats, a paired test. And a lot, of, um, a lot of different statistical software options have this as well. And you can actually say, let's look at our husband versus our wife. And let's look at their, uh, and if you wanted to, you can even have it save the differences. Do our hypothesis test for the difference is equal to zero versus greater than zero. And it gives us out the exact same test statistic and exact same p-value as we got with the single value. And what's cool about this is if I hadn't already made this differences column, it can make it for you. So you could have that, so you can actually kind of visually see, oh, a couple number seven is contributing a lot because they're the man was 15 years older than the woman, um, whereas our biggest swing in the other direction was row two. And just, you know, nice to look at those differences and be able to describe stuff. So we could still do our step four and step five, just as we have before. So in this case, um, at an alpha level of 0 0.05, our p-value is less. So we reject the null. And we could say that there is enough evidence to say that the... And I don't necessarily like the wording of this. The population mean exceeds that of their wives. I would say that the... Uh, difference. Mm. We have to have a direction, so using the word difference is going to be hard. So we'll just say uh, men, uh, husbands, I guess I should say instead of men. Hopefully nobody's made it through this much of the video because I'm just <laughs> making things up now. Just say that husbands um, are older than their wives. No. on average. You do need something uh, with the word average in there because we are talking about an average up here. So that is important.